Hey guys, my name's Adam. Um, I'm a coaching director at ASCs and a teacher full time as well. And this is a great opportunity for me to be able to pass on some basketball skills to you. So as you can see here, I'm outdoors. Uh, I've got my basketball here. You might want to have a drink bottle out on the side, but otherwise that's really all you um, really require here. And it'll be a great opportunity for us to develop your basketball skills. So the skills that we'll be working on during the sessions are stationary dribbling, dribbling on the move, some single hand shooting and also working on our layups as well. We're gonna start with some stationary dribbling. So what we're thinking about here is really working at a high intensity. We wanna pound the basketball as much as we can and really work on using our fingertips to control the ball. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna start with is just how we do it if we were a beginner. So what I'm thinking about here is I wanna dribble twice on the outside of my uh, knees and then cross that ball over. When we're crossing over, let's make sure our ball is below our knees. When we're dribbling, not crossing over, let's bounce that ball about the hip height. So beginner, one, two, cross. One, two, cross. One. That's a bit easy for you and you're more of an expert. Let's try and take that dribble off um, from the outside. So we'll go straight into crossovers below the knees the whole time. Crossing over, eyes up, below our knees, no dribbles on the outside, using our fingertips. A little bit more of a step up from that so this time we're going to go cross through so we'll go cross through cross through cross through eyes up cross through we can do that about five times and then it's cross to the other side all right so we're moving on to our last stationary dribble remember guys when we're doing some of these activities let's make sure we master the skill first before we move on to the next one let's have a look at our expert level we're nice and balanced we're low we're pounding that basketball all right let's go cross through behind cross through behind cross behind. Cross through. Alright guys, so we're continuing on with our stationary dribbling, but we're going to add a tennis ball in to just challenge ourselves in terms of the way that we're thinking when we're dribbling. All right, so the things to think about, our tips here, uh, we obviously still want to be stationary, we want to be low down in our stance, this is even more important now, and we've got our eyes looking up because we've got something else moving while we're dribbling our basketball. So with our basketball here, we're still pounding our basketball. Again, beginners, you might do those two dribbles on the outside, more of an expert, they might take that out. And what we're gonna do is, one, two, dribble that ball, that tennis ball directly straight down, catch the tennis ball and cross over at the same time. So it'll look like this, one, two, bounce. One, two, bounce. One, two, bounce. If we're a little bit more advanced, we should be able to add in maybe a little bit more of a complex move. So we're dribbling one, two, we bounce this tennis ball, and as we do, we might go through our legs. So one, two, bounce that tennis ball through our legs. Now we're gonna add in uh, a throw to either a partner or using a wall. While I'm dribbling, I'm getting ready to throw this tennis ball to my partner. As I do, I'm going to cross this ball over. The tennis ball will leave my hand and another tennis ball is going to come to me at the same time after I've crossed that ball over. If I'm more of an expert, what I want to be doing is thinking about putting that ball through my legs or behind my back before catching that other tennis ball. Some of you already know this one. We call this the biking drill. It's just the final part of that step. So what I'm thinking about here is not that first step, but that last finishing part. We're just gonna to continue to practice this movement here. All right, so this would be for um, maybe a warm up that you could do before a game starts and a really great drill that you could do maybe aiming to get 50 goals um, in a particular number of minutes. Same drill under the basket this time, facing away from the ring. And I'm thinking about on the right hand side of this um, ring here, going up with my right hand and right leg. And on this other side here, I'm going left hand, left leg, continuous. So the ball comes out of the net, I go straight back up again. Comes out of the net, straight back up again. We've now mastered the layout. Let's add it into an actual move here. So what we're looking at is a jab step. All right, so I've again used my roller. You could use a, a drink bottle, any sort of item that might help you imagine like it as a defender. Starting with my ball on my right side, because I'm a right-hander, I'm gonna jab to the middle. So that's with my left foot, jab to the middle. I wanna try and get past this roller here, and I'm gonna bring my ball in front of my knee. 
So I'm really selling my defender to make it look like I'm going that way. I'm going to bring my foot back. I'm going to bring the ball across to my right side and then I'm going to go into my lap. So we've moved on from our layups and now we're thinking about our shooting technique. A couple of tips that I want to give you before we start our shooting here is you'll see there's a, a little hole where the pump goes. I'd put my pointing finger on that to make sure I place my hand in the correct position when I'm shooting. The next thing I want to do is have my shooting hand on the side of the ball. So if we look at that here, I've got my pointing finger under the ball, my guide hand on the side of the ball. That's what I want you to think about when you're shooting here. We're going to start um, not necessarily facing the ring here. We're going to pick a way in which we're going to look away from the ring. For a basic version, we might face just 90 degrees away, uh, away from it. Land our shooting shoulder facing the ring and making sure we're all square with our shoulders and then go into our shot. If you want to make it even more complex, you might start facing the other way. Completely turn around, square up, and shoot my shot. All right, we're going to start on, in front of the ring on the left-hand side here. And our first layup is going to be a left-hand layup. So we're going to go left foot step, right foot step, left leg up. That's worth one point. I'll move back to my next shot. This is going to be a single hand shot. That's also worth one point. The last shot on this side is just a normal jump shot. That's also worth one point. So the total number of points that you can get for this activity on this side of the ring is three points. You do the same thing after you've done those in order on the other side. The layout, the single hand shot, and the jump shot. So the total score you can get in a round of the clock is six points. See how many you can get in two minutes.